first dog that I, I have for you today is Dodge, and he's probably the youngest of our older animals at about five years old. And he is a husky mix. And uh, he came to us after um, someone found him as a stray. They, they kept him for a couple of months, but were just unable to keep him. So they brought him here to us so that we could find him a permanent placement. Um, and already the volunteers are saying that he's a great dog. They enjoy taking him out. They enjoy playing with him. Um, as you can see, he's very treat motivated. He's following that treat. He likes those treats. Um, he's just like an easy going dog. Um, but he is a husky, which means that he's going to enjoy being outside right now when it's cold, when you would probably rather be inside. So keeping those things in mind, um, you know, when it's really warm outside, you know, you may have to limit how long he's out just so that he doesn't get overheated and things like that. Um, he's not necessarily built for really warm temperatures. Um, and he does have, you know, a fair amount of energy. So making sure he's getting all of the right amounts of exercise and mental stimulation um, so that he's going to continue to be a great dog in your household. So obviously we have a note that he's a little talkative. Do we have any restrictions for him because of his talkativeness? So he doesn't have any restrictions on the type of home that he can go to, but um, you know that's gonna be up to our adopters to kind of use their best judgment, right? Um, if you live in an apartment, then having a dog that's as talkative as say uh, Dodge may not be the greatest thing. You might start getting complaints from your neighbor, your landlord might start coming and chatting with you. Um, same thing if you live in a townhouse, depending on you know how um, insulated those walls are you know we don't want anybody's neighbors to complain about um, how chatty Dodge is and then have Dodge end up back here at our facility so you want to make sure that you're always taking all of those things into consideration when you're making those choices as to what animals you want to apply for um, so we don't necessarily have a restriction listed for him, but you do want to pay attention to those things. Or if you're, you know, you have young kids that are napping and stuff, he might be waking them up all the time with his his uh, desire to express his feelings. So just really thinking about all of those different items to make sure that it's going to be the right choice for you and your family and for the dog as well. Um, because he is listed as a senior here at five years old, we do have discounts on our adoption fees for those animals. Um, so any animals cats, dogs, um, five and up get a $20 um, discount from five to nine, and then 10 and up, they actually get a $40 reduction in their adoption fee. So there is a little bit of incentive there to, to maybe look at some of these guys that are often overlooked um, that can go to some extra toys, extra treats, um, maybe a little bit of vet care if, if necessary. Um, if you're interested in making an appointment to visit with Dodge, you can do so by going to visitfcac.as.me.